Hello and welcome to episode 133 of the Daily Sales Message, where each and every single day, for at least the last 133 days now, I provide you with a piece of simple and actionable advice that's designed to help you feel more confident and sell more stuff. In this episode, we're talking about something known as affordance. Affordance. And I don't want to get into too much detail here because it can be quite a complex and difficult subject to understand, but I'll give you a very simple example so then we can think about how you can use it in your own business, in your own communication to simplify things for people. When you walk up to a door, if one of the doors has a plate on it, a metal flat plate, and one of them has a handle, a handle that protrudes on the door, you know which one to push and which one to pull. In the main, some people try to push, pull doors, etc. I get that. But in the main, if there's a flat panel on a door, you push it with the palm of your hand. If there's a handle, you're more likely to pull the door. Affordance is what the thing affords you to do. So the handle affords you to pull the door. The panel affords you to push the door. Affordance is all about indicating how something is used, how something works without language. So in the same way we have semiotics, so if I can communicate to you without words, this is semiotics, and the example I always give here is the, um, trop I was gonna say orangina, the Tropicana um, packaging, where it has an orange on the outside with a straw stuck straight into a fresh orange. So without any words, you can guess just how fresh that orange is. There's a straw stuck straight into an orange, so there's gonna be no additives, no nothing, as fresh as possible. And they've achieved that without telling me that with words, just with the image of the orange and the straw. That's semiotics. Affordance is where we design how people interact with things and we communicate through what they afford you to do, how that works. On websites, for example, some things are grayed out. So you can't do something until you tick a checkbox and say, yes, I agree to the Apple terms and conditions and you're gonna own all my stuff, etc." that is an affordance when you see the three horizontal lines which is known as a hamburger menu you know that clicking on that will reveal some kind of a pop-out menu that is an affordance it's an indication of how something works what to expect and it's communicated through how the thing is designed or used so in your own product or service or offering, how can you use affordance? How can you restrict people from doing things or make it easier for people to do things by designing and shaping how they interact with your website, your product, your service, or even your process? This is one of those more theoretical things to think about. I like to pride myself on having practical, actionable stuff. This is very, very useful, very powerful, but not as easy to convey in a three to five minute podcast as the other topics I talk about, but nonetheless, well worthy of note. Affordance is about indicating how something is used, what it will do for you. It's this intuitive nature. How can we get that into your offering, your product or your service? That's it for this episode of the Daily Sales Message. Tomorrow, we're talking about something which I call resolution loyalty. Resolution loyalty, we'll cover that in tomorrow's episode. If you haven't already hit the like or subscribe button or commented, then please feel free to do so. And if you're feeling extra generous, share this episode or another episode of the podcast as a whole with somebody that you think is going to benefit from the ongoing free, might I point out, actionable, practical stuff that's designed to help you feel more confident and sell more stuff. That's it for this episode. Thank you for listening or watching all the way to the end. I do appreciate it.